Hey guys, so I'm sorry about part one. I wasn't really professional. I kind of left everything up because, as you know, I didn't really intend to do this video, but I actually did, so. Okay, so now for the face. As you all know, I cannot wear any foundation or blushes or anything on my face. But for this occasion, I'm going to skip the foundation part and I'm just going to go ahead and put blush and bronzer on. Uh, even if I'm not allowed because I'll know I'm in the treatment. But as I said, um, I wanted to do like this Halloween kind of video thing. But I actually intend to do the blue one first because you all know that blue is really messy and stuff. So, you know. Um, as you all know, there's a lot of videos out there that are how to take care of blue, how to use blue and stuff. But I wanted to participate in that. So I said Halloween is not until next year. So, well, until this year. It's in two months. So why not just wait until the day of Halloween to do the actual Halloween tutorial? So, <laughs> uh, for the face, I'm going to skip the whole. Um, skin makeup. Um. You also say it, uh, foundation. So, yeah. so I'm gonna go ahead and do the bronzing. So I'm take my um, Quo bronzer brush. Yes, stippling brush. Just gonna take that like this. Just swirl it around, swirling it around. This is really soft. I washed it a million times. It's so soft. Dabbing the excess off. Kind of go for the bronzy look. You don't want too much. You don't want to overpower the eyes with the face. So you just want to simply have a nice natural bronzy look. Like that. Can't really see because it's more like a natural um, beigey color instead of a dark brown that most people use. Uh, as you can see, this is more settled for foundation for this type of color of persons that use foundation. Because look, it looks like a powder foundation, but it's a bronzer. Bronzer, natural bronzer with minerals give face a sun-kissed glow. Like all of the bronzers it says, give your face a sun-kissed glow. So. And because I dab a lot off because I want to also do not put a lot on my face as I'm in the treatment. And you also want to just blend it with your cheeks just to give a color to your cheeks. We are going to put the blush, don't worry, it's just to give that color to settle the blush because you also want a kind of base for your cream blush. Um, I'm new to cream blushes. Hopefully it works. So I'm going to take a um, travel size foundation brush because I tried with, um, how do you call this? Um, I cannot say it anymore with sponges but it didn't really work so I'm going to try this putting a little bit on the ends smile and then just apply I will blend it off with my um, hands later because it says it's better to use fingers on this occasion for cream blushes so that's what I'm going to do So you just want to blend that. You don't want to go all the way of your cheek because then it will look fake, like you're not really blushing. And in every brush, blush, that's the rule because then it would look like you're like painted 
you know, that's really wrong. You don't want to go too up of your up above again because it will look like you're painted. And you don't want to look like you're painted. Hello, you want to look like a nice natural blush um settlation. And in this occasion I'm using cream because I just discovered that cream doesn't break me out. Cream blushes doesn't break me out as well as powder brushes do cream blushes don't and they're both from Sally Henson one is um, the one with the cover is powder the one without cover is cream because the cover just broke and the one with the silver cover uh, like goldy color cover is the powder the green cover is um, cream but the green cover I don't know where it is so what I'm going to do they mostly have a slight difference of color one is darker than the other one and of course the powder is a little bit less dark so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of with the stippling brush kind of I'm blending those two together just to blend sorry I'm kind of having cold so and I just want to take a powder brush and just just a little bit on the tip just swirl a little bit you know not too much because you don't want to overpower the cream and just you know kind of apply over it I'm not doing this to give more color I'm just giving this to kind of settle the cream because even if we applied a base like a bronzer base on the cream it won't really settle it so I'm just, not because I want it to have more color, it's just so it can settle. And just blend it down. Now there's a new thing going on with the shimmer above, you know, the face glove. I have this one. And I also have the Luna Twilight face glove. I'm going to take that. And in this occasion, you want to use really little. Like seriously, this much. Capiche? You want to just take a concealer brush or or a your finger. Let's go with the finger or your finger. Go figure. And just apply it above the above the line of your blush. You don't want to go where the concealer is at. You want to go just a little bit above your blush just not to go covering the whole line of your blush you, you can you don't have to go all the way but I do just give it a nice finish and I do go until here so it can give a nice natural glow something you do girls then do the same thing then with the gosh um, face glow it's like pearls but I call it face glow because it is a face glow with the powder brush just settle the cream the cream face glow that you just applied and that's your face for lips I'm using the Luna Twilight um, lip gloss a uh, lipstick from the just bitten collect just bitten collection in lullaby isn't this gorgeous? It's cool, don't worry. I just got it. And in this occasion, I'm just applying on the middle like a lip gloss. Because you want the natural color of your lips to overcome it. Just go. Like that. 